This is Visitor's Book and I'm Maya, your host. In this program, we're going to be meeting with diplomats and foreigners who live here in Pakistan, and we're going to find out what they really think about the country. Let's go. So today we're meeting with the ambassador of the UAE, Hamad Ubed Ibrahim Azabi. So let's go find him. Hello. 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 So nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome Hi. to the embassy. Thank you Please. so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, how long have you been here in Pakistan now? Actually, I arrived in Islamabad in uh, September 2017. Okay. Hmm. So, a couple of years. Yes. One Great. year and a half now. All right. Yeah. And how do you like it so far? To be honest with you, I love it. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, I feel home. Uh, you know, UAE and Pakistan, unique relation. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, uh, for us, we count Pakistan like a second home. All right. Yeah. So uh, we have this love, this feeling, uh, and that's why I enjoy my time in uh, Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. And where were you posted before, before you came here to Islamabad? Uh, I started my diplomatic career in 2004, okay. October 2004. Okay. I joined the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Abu Dhabi and uh, I posted in 2006 at the UAE Permanent Mission to the United Nations oh, nice. from 2006 till 2011 okay. and uh, in 2011 uh, I posted at the UAE Embassy in Paris hmm. from 2011 till uh, 2016. Then I went back to Abu Dhabi. I spent two years in Abu Dhabi. Uh, at the, uh, I was the director of the International Organization Department. Hmm. Then I posted in Islam. Okay, so yeah. it's quite a quite a change from yes. your past. Yeah, <laughs> from uh, you know multilateral to uh, bilateral. So yeah, it's a rich experience. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And um, was there? Let me, I mean, was the country exactly what you expected it to be like, or or were there any surprises for you when you came here? To be honest with you, from my background, it's a new experience for yeah. me in Pakistan. Yeah. It's a new challenge. Mm. And because uh, I was in the US, then Europe, so, yeah. so Pakistan or this region is a, a new uh, experience for me. And uh, as I just said, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, I'm enjoying the, my time in Pakistan. Great. So why is it that people say that the UAE and Pakistan have a special re relationship? Like, what's the reason behind that? So, to be honest with you, so many reasons. One of them, uh, in 1971, uh, uh, Pakistan was the first country recognized UAE mm, yeah. in 19 and 2nd of December 2000, uh, 1971. Okay. And uh, from uh, since that time, uh, the founder Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, uh, late sixties, he uh, always come to Pakistan for hunting. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. In uh, Punjab and Sindh, especially mm. in Rahim Yar Khan. Okay. And uh, he count Pakistan like a second to home, mm -hmm. and he spent like three months, two months in in uh, in Pakistan. So we have this, uh, we call it a unique relation. Yeah. It's a special relation because in the beginning of uh, Etihad of uh, Emirates, uh, Pakistan support UAE mm -hmm. in different fields. Okay. And uh, one of them in 19, I remember in 1985, the, the first flight of Emirates Airlines started from Karachi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, uh, now, uh, after those so many years, uh, I think uh, we built on this relation. Hmm. We worked very hard to reach different levels of this relation, and we are enjoying the relation. Yeah. yeah. So what does the embassy actually do here in Pakistan? Like, you have so many different projects. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the ambassador or the UAE embassy uh, in Pakistan played a role on uh, building the relation in different fields mm -hmm. or different sectors. We focus on the economic relation, beside the political relation for sure, but yeah. you know, in different fields uh, like uh, supporting the uh, humanitarian projects, uh, Engage, have a, this engagement with the businessman, with the uh, Pakistani society, with the uh, worked very hard to 
to to have the same vision and the same agenda on uh, different files like uh, human rights, like yeah. uh, women empowerment, like uh, exchange the delegations, and uh, this is our role, and we focus on it. Yeah. And this is, uh, I think, make the relation more sustained yeah. and uh, also find the ways where we can work together, like encourage the investors to come to Pakistan, mm. see the way how we can support the, 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 uh, the health sector, the education uh, sector. And this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And we are doing, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Could you tell me a little bit about the different projects that you have? For example, uh, you mentioned that you're uh, supporting girls' education yeah. and the polio program yes. as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we started our uh, humanitarian projects 50 years back. Oh, wow. And last uh, 10 years, we started uh, the UAE projects to assist Pakistan. Mm. This is something different. Yeah. So we create this project or the, we create this office at the embassy. Mm. And we work uh, uh, closely with the government of Pakistan to support the health sector, the education uh, sector, and the water projects, the agriculture. Because we believe in UAE, the, the education and health is really important for generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the leaders in UAE and the leaders here in Pakistan have this vision to move forward in the future. Yeah. For example, we have the polio projects. It's, yeah. a, it's a, this is a project uh, with the Bill Gates Foundation. Okay. So we spend uh, more than $100 million wow. to give vaccine for more than $71 million. Pakistan. Mm. More than this, uh, we just signed the uh, the phase three of UAE projects to assist Pakistan. Uh, it's more than 200 million dollars for more than 95 big projects in Pakistan. Okay. We focus on KBK and uh, Balochistan, and uh, we focus on the uh, building schools and institutes, uh, colleges. Uh, water projects, uh, highways, uh, bridges, mm. uh, uh, hospitals, clinics, and uh, we really see our projects in the right direction. Mm. And my mandate also to, to visit our uh, projects, to make sure those projects are su sustained, yeah. and to see the, the need of the uh, the the. Uh, the projects like schools and hospitals. So I was in um, in South Waziristan, oh, wow. and I was in uh, Quetta, I was in uh, Peshawar, and all over Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. travel all over Pakistan yeah. just to see our projects and make sure everything is in the right direction. Yeah. yeah. And what did you do in, in South Waziristan especially? Yeah. In South Waziristan, we started our projects in 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, we focus on Bajur, Wana, Sawat, Sidu Sharif, mm. and the the the, uh, the border of uh, the, the area where is the border between yeah. uh, Pakistan okay. and Afghanistan. So we build um, huge hospitals there. Mm. We build uh, schools, and we build uh, water projects. Yeah. And also we uh, just started our uh, training centers in that area. Mm. Because uh, you know, we it's really important to create jobs for the people of that region. Absolutely. So uh, we started on this, and we, as you just, as I just said, we focus on the education and health uh, mm. sector yeah. because we believe on this. And what about trade between the two countries? Uh, UAE and Pakistan already signed more than 20 bilateral agreements. Mm. The total uh, value of uh, uh, trade between UAE and Pakistan is more than eight billion dollars. Oh wow! And I think uh, still we can do more, and still we can uh, work together with the Pakistani government to increase this number, yeah. because both of us have a potential, the opportunities, and the chances for the mm. investment. So. Uh, now we are working on the economic roadmap between UAE and Pakistan, uh -huh. framework agreement 
uh, economic framework agreement between UAE and Pakistan to make sure uh, those agreements is umbrella for the investment yeah. and encourage the investors to come to Pakistan or encourage the Pakistani businessman to go to UAE and yeah. invest. Is there a lot of interest in the UAE for people to invest in Pakistan? Right yes, now? we have so many projects. We have so many businessmen invest already in Pakistan. Hmm. Last 34 years here in Pakistan. So we invest in banking sector, uh, agriculture, and food uh, and beverage. And also we invest on the uh, real estate yeah. and ports. And uh, we have so many projects in different areas in Pakistan and uh, the businessmen al always uh, prefer Pakistan as uh, a big potential for uh, their investment. Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So what are the most important exports and imports between the two countries? For example, the textile, the, the food, uh, the animals, and yeah. uh, so many things. Yeah, so many I mean, things. I think yeah. I heard that um, Emiratis really like Pakistani mangoes, is yes. that true? Yes, this is for sure. Yeah. This is for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think here people like to eat your dates. Yes. Yeah. And now the season. Yeah. Season is for it? dates and season for uh, Absolutely, mango. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so nice. Yeah. And uh, the UAE has a very big Pakistani community. Yes. I mean, I think every time I've visited Dubai, I've always had like a Pakistani taxi driver or something. They're just yeah. everywhere there. Yeah. Pakistani community uh, in, Pak in UAE, uh, it's the second largest uh, or biggest Pakistani community outside Pakistan. Mm, is that right? The first is Saudi Arabia and mm -hmm. second in the uh, UAE. 1.7 yeah. million Pakistani live in UAE. Yeah. And we are proudly uh, say uh, this community live in peace mm -hmm. and they contribute very well in UAE economy. And they are part of UAE successful story. Yeah. They. Uh, are part of the development in UAE, hmm. and they contribute in different fields, like you just mentioned, the the, uh, the doctors, the engineers, the the uh, in all over uh, UAE from yeah. Abu Dhabi to Ras Al Khaimah. Okay. To Ras Al Khaimah, we have this uh, community, and we live with the Pakistani community in UAE with love. Hmm. Uh, because we, we, we grow up with the Pakistani yeah, community. Yeah, exactly. So we have this love, we have this feeling and uh, trust. Alhamdulillah, they, the most important thing, they are contributing very well uh, and supporting their family here back in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. it's a big source of remittances, yes. I think. Yeah. 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 And where do most Pakistanis live in the UAE? Is it all of them in Dubai or...? or in others? Different cities. numbers. Most of them in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, oh, okay. and uh, Ras Al Khaimah, mm. Al Ain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a different numbers in, in each area. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and Dubai is the biggest yes. city. Yeah, so yeah. that must have the biggest yeah. number. Yeah. And what, uh, what, in which sector do most of them work? Is it like construction? or I mean, that's kind of like the stereotype at least. Yeah. What people Construction think. was yeah. one of the important, and there is a big number of Pakistani community yeah. working on uh, different big companies in, in, uh, in UAE, especially in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, mm. and uh, also in transportation. Okay. There is a big number also working in transportation, mm. and also in agriculture. Okay. I think in UAE, they, there is a big number also working in agriculture, mm. and uh, in different fields. Yeah. Yeah. And how is it for Pakistanis to immigrate to uh, UAE? I mean, you must get so many visa applications here, mm. right? Yeah. In, the, in Pakistan, we built uh, uh, three visa centers now mm. in, in, uh, in Pakistan. One of them in Islamabad, the, the other one in Karachi, the third one, inshallah, soon will be in uh, Lahore. Okay. So those visa uh, centers facilitate for the, 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 uh, the, the employee or for the laborers everything here in Pakistan before they go to UAE. Okay. So here in Pakistan, they understand what they are going to work there, mm -hmm. the contracts, uh, their salary, uh, their medical uh, insurance, uh, their medical test, they do it here in, in hospital in, here in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So they just go to UAE immediately straight to, to, to their company or to their uh, job. Okay. And uh, this is one of the achieve, achievements 
uh, we worked on this project last year mm -hmm. and this year very soon in September we, w we are going to 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 integrate the, the this project great yeah. excellent yeah. yeah so are Emiratis at all interested in coming to Pakistan actually we have big uh, number of students oh, yeah? uh, study at the uh, different uh, universities here in Pakistan oh. and we have also uh, security officers also uh, they are doing their courses in NDU and different also colleges here in mm. Pakistan and also we have Sheikh Zayed International Academy okay. Sheikh Zayed International Academy established in, uh, in Islamabad in 2004 Okay. And it's a very uh, successful academy uh, here in Pakistan. And they have a Cambridge system. Oh. And they studied from the grade one till uh, they graduated from the high school. Huh. And uh, we have in this academy more than 150 students from different, more than uh, 25 different countries. Okay. So this unique uh, education uh, academy contributes very well in the education system here in Pakistan. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Where, where is it based? Here in Islamabad. Oh, okay, yes. excellent. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's a time to have lunch. So yeah. we prepare for you Emirati uh, food. Oh, wow. So we'll, we'll, we'll go to our resident to, to have a lunch. Lovely. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, time to take a short break. See you in a bit. the house. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Yes. Welcome back. We're here at the ambassador's residence and we're going to have some coffee before lunch. Thank you. Okay. So this is uh, special uh, coffee from uh, from UAE. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. And the special dates too. Mm. Yeah. In our mm. traditional, when you finish the the coffee and you don't want coffee, you just shake it. Oh, for him. Yeah. like this. Like this. Yeah. And if yeah. you if you don't do anything, then it means he you want more. For he you would more. put more, <laughs> and you'd be like, no, I didn't yeah. ask for more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So you so. want more? No, <laughs> I've learned it. Thank you. So that's quite an interesting cultural thing. I've never yes. seen anything like yeah. that anywhere this else. This is an hour tradition. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what are the main differences between Emirati and Pakistani culture that you've noticed? I think we have a similar culture. Yeah. We have, uh, when we talk about the, uh, our lifestyle, yeah. it's almost the same. Yeah. Uh, you know, both of us, we are uh, Muslim countries yeah. and uh, both of us close to each other in the region. That's true. So uh, we have this uh, similar uh, traditional, for example, for the uh, weddings, mm. for example, for different uh, functions and activities in, in uh, different lifestyle. So it's almost similar and same. Yeah. yeah. I think um, Arabs are more uh, focused around like desert life and like nomadic lifestyle. Yes. Is that correct? Like yes. the desert is very important and like yes. camels and yes. you only see that in certain parts of yes. Pakistan, yeah. right? Yeah, especially in Punjab and Sand, yeah. you will see this similar uh, areas for desert and uh, both of us, you know, the camels is one of the common, uh, you know, animals in the, yeah. the, in the region. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. Yeah. And a lot of people seem to think of UAE as this kind of a country where you only see like glitz and glamour and like these high-rise buildings and not a lot of traditional culture. But are there any places in the country where you can actually see like traditional lifestyle? Yeah. You know, in UAE, uh, there are uh, seven Emirates. Mm. So the capital is Abu Dhabi, the economic capital is Dubai, and the rest, uh, for example, Sharjah. Sharjah is a culture Emirates. Mm. And you will see the uh, old buildings, the historical buildings, oh, wow. the historical and unique mosques in, in, in mm. Sharjah. 
And also in Ras Al Khaimah, Fujairah, Um Al Kiwain, they have uh, not the tall buildings, mm. the, the, but they have this uh, old lifestyle. Mm. So in each Emirate, they have their uh, different lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. And, and which Emirate are you from? I'm yourself? from Ras Al Khaimah. Oh, okay. Al -Khaimah. And, and what is that place like? It's uh, one hour from Dubai by mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. And I born in Ras Al Khaimah. I studied in Ras Al Khaimah, okay. and uh, I uh, worked in Abu Dhabi because mm -hmm. like it's the capital. Okay. So most of my time was in Ras Al Khaimah. Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah. And um, the history of the UAE is quite fascinating in terms of like how quickly it developed into this hub in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. How how did that happen? How many years did it take for like Dubai to become what it is today? I think the vision of the leaders of UAE mm. and the vision of uh, the, the, the founder of United Arab Emirates, late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, to invest on the human resources, invest on uh, development, invest on education and uh, healthcare, yeah. invest on women, and this is uh, one of our unique uh, example in, in, in UAE because UAE is a hub in the region. Yeah. So, so the vision in Dubai and Abu Dhabi uh, from the uh, date leaders, we see it now. Yeah. yeah. What, what is the percentage of like foreigners versus um, Emiratis living in Dubai? In UAE overall, more than one million. Yeah. The total population of the people always who live in UAE uh, around nine million. Okay. Nine million. Yeah. The uh, there is the different nationalities: the the Indians, the mm. Pakistani, the the from the Arab countries, yeah. the Europeans, the Americans, and the Africans also. Yeah. So yeah. it's. Uh, Huge mix. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, great. So you're quite young for an ambassador. How did you get into diplomacy? I, as I told you in the beginning, I, I joined the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 2004. Mm -hmm. So I spent more than 15 years in the, uh, at the service, diplomatic yeah. service. So uh, I think the leaders in UAE uh, uh, invest on us. Okay. So uh, in UAE, for example, we have a youth uh, minister called uh, Sham al mm -hmm. She's 23 years old. Oh, wow. And we have also another two, three ministers. They are uh, 27, 28 mm. years old. So I think uh, now with the education, with the experience, the ages, you know. Yeah, uh, like more and more young more people young. are getting so into So I think it. in UAE, yeah. you will see more leaders they're still young, but they have mm. experience. Yeah. They have uh, a high quality of uh, education. Mm. They have uh, experience in life and work, and uh, this is a good thing in UAE. Yeah, and do you think that would be important in Pakistan as well, to get more young people involved in politics and in other areas? You know, as I see in Pakistan, 60 million uh, of the uh, population is youth. Yeah. So I think the investment in youth is really important. It is. And UAE and Pakistan have the same vision. Our leaders have the same vision to, to invest on the youth because they are going to lead the future. Mm. Everything has changed now recently, uh, as you see with the social media, with the education, with the, uh, you know, what happened in the region. Uh, there are so many things uh, changed yeah. comparing with uh, last, 20 years. Mm, mm. So I think uh, focus on the education, focus on youth yeah. and believe on them is yeah. really important. And uh, as I see uh, in Pakistan, there are so many leaders, they're still young, but they have rich experience. Yeah. yeah. And you also yourself studied abroad, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I did my bachelor in, in UAE at mm -hmm. the Al Ain University, UAE okay. University in Al Ain. Yeah. And I did my bachelor, uh, my master in New York. Mm. and uh, in uh, international diplomacy. Oh, great. And also my father was ambassador also. Okay. So he spent most of my, his life outside uh, UAE. Mm. So I born in Kuwait uh, in 1982. And uh, then he posted in Tehran, in Iran. Mm. He posted in uh, Yemen. He posted in uh, India. And, uh, you know, uh, so I studied at the university, but at the same time, my father was a great example for me. Mm. He was my teacher. He, he guided me to the, to the uh, diplomacy. 
So alhamdulillah, I have this experience at the university and at home. Yeah, yeah. and you, you really got to see up close what the life of a diplomat is, right? Yeah. Yes. That's great. Yes. So I recently read a story in some Pakistani newspaper about you having gifted a house to a vegetable seller. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, it was, you know, uh, last year uh, uh -huh. I was uh, on the way visiting uh, one of our friends at uh, a Shifa hospital. Okay. So on the way I was checking the Twitter and checking Instagram uh, till we reached the hospital. So I read the story. One of the journalists, uh, he mentioned that there is a lady and in that picture, and he put her picture, and in that picture he put the, the sign of one of the streets in Islamabad. Okay. So I asked my driver uh, to, to check where is the location or where is the area. And he said, it's just, just like five minutes from here. Mm. So I told him, can we go just to visit uh, her? Then I went there, I, I, I bought all the, 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 the fruits from her. Oh, then I amazing. asked her, what is, why you are selling the, mm. the, the fruit in the street? She said, my husband passed away mm. by accident last year and they have four kids and they live here. So I asked my team to take her number. Then we called her again and we asked her, what is your wish? She said, I don't have house. Mm. So then I contact the different uh, foundations. So Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of Dubai Foundation, charity foundation, they, they uh, send me back there and they are ready to support. Mm. So we work together with, the, with, the, with Sheikh Mohammed Foundation to, to facilitate and to provide her with house. So we took one year to build this house because it takes time, you know, to find the land, to buy the land, yes. to, you know, to check where, where, where we will buy it and where we will build it. So the, the, the story started. But the thing is, you know, the most important thing is uh, to mention that I'm doing this from my heart. Yeah. And, and I believe in women. So mm. I think, you know, this kind of stories uh, it's not just to show off that the ambassador of UAE doing or mm. the UAE embassy is doing yeah. and to just go to the, to the social media because what I'm doing in Pakistan try to be low profile don't mention this on the uh, social media mm. but the thing is the media also it's really important to encourage the others yeah. to do the same and support the poor people support the families support the need people and support also the, the uh, different uh, schools or institutes in, yeah. in Pakistan. So this is an example and uh, it was in the media all over Pakistan. Yeah. So I'm happy for her. Yeah. I'm happy for her and for her kids. Oh, that's yeah. a really great yeah. thing to do. Yeah. And do you think it's, it's important these days for ambassadors to be closer to the grassroots level, like to engage with the local people? Yeah. I think this is really important because and this is one of the ambassador mandate mm. you know to work and be close with the with the uh, with the society yeah. with the people in the street and uh, in Pakistan you know the people and also in UAE they are close to each other yeah. so for me as a UAE ambassador in Pakistan all the doors is open for me mm. Not because Hamad, because UAE ambassador, but also because we have this feeling and the trust. Mm. So they know and understand the, the relation, they understand and respect the people, and they understand how the, uh, the Pakistani community doing, what they are doing in, in UAE, and what mm. they are contributing in, in uh, UAE. So we have this uh, feeling. So I think this is one of the most important role and mandate for the ambassador to be close with the with the people, close with the uh, different institutes, and especially in Pakistan. Hmm. That's great. Yeah. And I think like um, Emirati leaders have always been kind of close to Pakistanis because, as you mentioned in Rahim Yar Khan, they've been visiting the country and they have had houses there as well. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Actually, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. Uh, he built Rahim Yar Khan. Oh, really? Yeah. So when you land to uh, Rahim Yar Khan, you will land in Sheikh Zayed Airport. Hmm. And when will you uh, 
go outside the airport, you will see the Sheikh Zayed Hospital, Sheikh Zayed School, and mm -hmm. he built the highways, he built the houses. So for, for uh, us and for the, the, the royal family in UAE and the Sheikh Zayed, the late Sheikh Zayed, Sultan Al Hayyan, Rahim Yarhan is a second house for them. Yeah. Second home because they they grow up in in, in Rahim Yar Khan mm. and they invest in Rahim Yar Khan. So I think Rahim Yar Khan is one of the uh, good example for invest on the education and healthcare. Yeah. Now, as you see, more than five million uh, people live in Rahim Yar Khan. Mm. Last 40 years, it was a desert. Yeah, it was wow. a desert. Now. Mm. It's a huge city with the uh, huge uh, facilities for, for the people. Mm. You'll see the, the, the schools, the institutes, the colleges, the, 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 the houses, the uh, compounds. So it's a huge city. So that's why uh, Rahim Khan is uh, close to our heart. Yeah. Have yeah. you been there yourself? Yes, yes, so many times. And also for hunting, we have so many projects also in, in Rahim Khan to protect mm. uh, Al Hubara or yeah. Leban. So I think uh, we have this uh, uh, a good example uh, between the UAE government and Pakistan working on the environment and mm. uh, saving and conservation. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this is this is a very good example. Yeah, yeah. that's great because there has been some talk about that as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. And another thing I wanted to ask you about is that next year I think there is this World Expo yes. coming up in yeah. Dubai, which is a huge deal, right? Yeah. And Pakistan will be there. Yes, that's, yeah. that's yeah. quite important. Pakistan already signed to participate at the Dubai Expo uh, 2020. Uh, Dubai Expo 2020 will be the, for the first time in the region for the first time in the Middle East, oh, wow. and we're proud to say that. It's like a World Cup. It's, hmm. it's like the Olympics. The, the, the Expo Dubai will be for six months, from October 2002, 2020 till April 2021. Okay. More than 192 countries already uh, confirmed to participate. Hmm. So I think it's a, it's a big uh, function and big exhibition will be in, in Dubai. We are expecting more than 25 million visitors to oh, the to the uh, expo okay. so i think it's a chance for the uh, businessman a chance for the countries or different countries to do marketing for their country mm. it's a chance for the businessman to have this uh, you know dialogue between the other businessmen from Africa, from Asia, yeah. from the Arab countries, from European countries, from the Latin America. So I think it's a chance for everyone to get a benefit from Expo. And so far, the site almost ready, and uh, the infrastructure, uh, the city of Expo will be a huge city. So each country they will have their own pavilion, mm. and they will have their own uh, place to represent mm. the country. Uh, for example, I was in uh, Faisalabad uh, last week. I spent four days in Faisalabad. And they had really busy schedule with the business community in, in, in Faisalabad. And uh, you know, the people, they are really excited to, to participate. Also, I was in Sialkot. I spent six days in Sialkot yeah. to see the opportunities for the investment, but also to encourage the, the investors to be part of uh, Dubai Expo. Yeah, yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, so the food is ready. So can okay. we move, please? Great, let's do it. Please. Time to take a short break. See you in a bit. Welcome back, lunch is served. So this looks amazing. Can you tell me what it is? This is actually our traditional food. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is a biryani. Okay. And it's similar to Pakistani biryani. Yeah. So in uh, Pakistan and UAE, we have the same taste or the same uh, food. Yeah. And this is haris 
Okay. What is it made of? It's similar uh, in Pakistan. They call it halim. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's the uh, same. And you have farids there. Mm. And uh, the salad. And this is we, like a dessert. We call okay. it uh, the gemat. And uh, yeah, please. Yeah, please. let's try some. Yeah. Wow. So which one of these is your favorite? Actually, um, uh, I love rice. Yeah. So the biryani is one of my favorite. Yeah. And farid also. Mm. And my mom always uh, cooked okay. uh, farid <laughs> for us. Great. Yeah. It's very good. Mm. And it does taste a lot like Pakistani biryani. Yeah. And you know, the spices also in UAE and Pakistan is similar, the same. Yeah. So mm. both of us have the same oh, spice. Nice. Great. Yeah. How is it? It's Very spicy? Good. No, 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 it's perfect. Yeah. Wow. And this um, Farid, you called it? What? Farid, yeah. Farid. That one is Farid. Mm. It's, it's you can meat? make it with chicken or lamb. Okay. Same. But those dishes, you know, it's, uh, we usually do it in Ramadan. Oh, yeah. I see. Mm. But also, when there is a gathering or you invite people from... Oh, okay. So, we always uh, prefer to make haris and uh, farid for the mm, people, yeah. That's great. Yeah. So what other traditional dishes do you have in the UAE? In UAE we have, the rice is one of the you know main dish mm. and the menu always include the uh, different kind of rice. Mm, so, okay. uh, and also we, as we ha just said, we have uh, the haris, farid, we have uh, uh, machboos, machboos it's a rice but in a different okay. way. And we have also uh, different kinds of breads. Oh, similar right. to, to paratha and uh, uh, chapati in oh, Pakistan. Right. So our food in Pakistan and UAE is almost similar. That's so interesting. Similar, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I mean, um, so then it wasn't difficult for you to get used to Pakistani definitely food at no, all? Definitely It's not. not too spicy for you? No, no. <laughs> I always ask him to, to, to make you know, medium. Okay. Medium spicy. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And I, I heard you have this really famous, famous dish called stuffed camel yes how is yeah. that that's like in the guinness book of records yes of, or something yeah. what what yeah. is that how is that prepared it's a camel uh, it's a camel meat yeah and it's uh, really tasty mm. and uh, it's usually we serve this uh, dish when there is a wedding in okay. any way yeah. so a big event mm. or a big uh, reception yeah because nobody's so, gonna eat a camel on yeah. their own <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, and, and what, what do they stuff it with? It's, uh, you know, it depends. Mm -hmm. It depends. But sometimes with potato, sometimes okay. with the bread, sometimes with the rice. Mm. So it's, uh, and now they make it burger. Okay, camel burgers. <laughs> yeah. Camel burger, yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned you've traveled like all over the country. Yes. What do you, what would you say is your favorite place you visited in Pakistan? You know, mo most of my visits to, to uh, different places in Pakistan, it's official visits. Yeah. So I've been to Lahore, to Karachi, mm -hmm. to, to Peshawar, to uh, South Waziristan, yeah. to, to, uh, to the areas where the hunting areas in uh, South uh, Sand. But, uh, you know, I'm planning in uh, August to visit Skardu and Gilgit. Oh, wow. So I think this is one of the uh, most important areas in, in Pakistan. And uh, from the pictures you can tell, it's really a nice place and nice uh, city. Mm. And uh, so we are planning in, in, in August to, to visit the area with my colleagues. So you've never been to the north? Never. Okay, that's going to be, and that's totally different from yeah, the UAE. Yeah, yeah. You don't have that there no, at all. No, no. <laughs> so, how do you like the weather in Pakistan? Because it's it's quite different from, from yeah. UAE. You know, the weather is nice in mm. Pakistan, and we really enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, uh, especially during the winter, is lovely weather. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't get that cold in, yeah, in Dubai. Yeah, and, yeah. So, yeah. and in summer, it's not too hot, but sometimes it's like one week come too hot but overall the weather is nice we really enjoy the weather mm. we really enjoy the time in Pakistan 
we always go out for walking, oh, yeah? for hiking, mm. going for, uh, you know, doing different kind of sports, playing football okay. with, with my friends, my colleagues. So we really enjoy enjoy the time and enjoy the weather. Mm, yeah. yeah, I was just going to ask you like how you like it in Islamabad in terms of your like uh, spare time, what you like to do. So a lot of sports. Yes, yes. You know, I spend most of my time after work working out, mm. going to gym, walking, mm -hmm. hiking, and I do sport uh, two times a day. Okay. One in the morning and in the uh, in the uh, evening. So I walk 10k every day. Oh wow! I go to gym every day. Mm. So I spend most of my time with my trainer. Mm -hmm. And I think sport is really important to keep your yourself healthy and uh, make your mind always fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Have you gotten to uh, try to play cricket at all here? Yeah. You have. I, I <laughs> attend matches, but I, okay. I never play. But I play golf. Okay. I play golf in Islamabad club and. Uh, I always prefer to watch uh, football matches. Okay. Yeah. So the other interesting connection is that the home series of Pakistani cricket team are actually played in the UAE, yes, right? Yes, yes. For so many years, last maybe 15 years, mm. we are really proud to, to host uh, the, the Pakistan home series games in uh, Sharjah yeah. and now in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And that's why the, the cricket become became the popular in UAE. Oh, okay. Yeah. So even yeah. Emiratis go and watch yes. it sometimes. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Do you have a team? We have a team, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they are not doing good no? actually. <laughs> <laughs> but they are trying now. You know, uh, but it's good to have team cricket mm -hmm. team, yeah. and they are building. You know. Uh, this team to be inshallah in the future one of the good teams in the in the region mm. but the uh, but i uh, really i want to say we count the pakistan team as our team so mm. we support pakistan always oh, that's very <laughs> nice <laughs> great yeah. so a lot of pakistanis obviously go to uae all the time also just for like traveling yes. or shopping or anything like that what what would you recommend like any places that people should visit like outside the usual spots any yeah. like hidden gems yeah. anything you know in dubai and abu dhabi you know there is a desert there is yeah. a malls there is you know now uh, we have uh, huge parks international parks mm. especially for kids okay. and we have formula uh, stadium and oh, yeah, we have right. uh, in the formula you can do uh, different kind of activities also mm. and uh, in Dubai also there is a different activities activities you can do whatever you want mm. so even inside the mall there is a skiing inside yeah, Emirates exactly. mall. <laughs> so there is so many places uh, also in uh, Ras Al Khaimah and Sharjah mm. and Al Fujera you can go for uh, you know, swimming on the beach. You can go okay. for do to do uh, different activities in the mm. beach, and you can uh, spend times in the resorts. There yeah. is uh, so many uh, offers and activities. So, in each Emirate, have a different you know uh, potential for for yeah. the people. That's and there is a big number of Pakistani communities spent their holidays in UAE. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially those people who are uh, visiting their families in, mm. in, in UAE. And also, uh, the, there is a big number, you know, uh, come to Dubai th uh, for a transit, then go to Al Umrah exactly. in Saudi Arabia or mm. to Australia, to Canada, to yeah. Europe. So they spend two, three, four days in Dubai, then, you know, uh, go to their uh, places. So this is the, this is a big potential because you know the destination is just two hours and a half uh, from yeah. Islamabad to Dubai, exactly. and it's just one hour and a half from Karachi to uh, Dubai, and there is you know uh, a good number of uh, airline uh, or yeah. flights from 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 all over Pakistan, from Sialkot, from. Faisalabad, from Kuwaita, from Peshawar, from Islamabad, from Lahore, from mm. Karachi. So you have the option. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what's your personal favorite place in, in the UAE? Where do you like to go and what do you like to do there? I spend most of my time with my family in Ras Al Khaimah. Yeah. 
But you know, when there is a weekend or holiday, we spend it in Dubai, mm. you know? Yeah. And uh, also in Abu Dhabi. Mm. So uh, I live in Abu Dhabi. Okay. And I live, most of my family in Ras Al Khaimah and most, mm. most in, in, in Abu Dhabi. Okay. So when, you, when I uh, go by car from Ras Al Khaimah to Abu Dhabi, I have to stay stop in Dubai. Okay. So I spend my time in those three different cities. Okay. Yeah. Do you go shopping all the time? Yeah. Or? Yeah. That's yeah, your favorite yeah. thing. I really enjoy shopping in Dubai. Yeah, it's, it's especially it in is. Dubai Mall. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, because there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, different choices. Yeah, for, exactly. For shopping, you can spend an entire day there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what about the other way around for Emiratis coming to Pakistan? What do you think they would find particularly attractive here, like maybe for tourism or anything else like that? Yeah. You know, with the uh, the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan, uh, Imran Khan, vision to, to encourage the, the people to visit Pakistan, mm. I think uh, it's a chance also to encourage our people to come to Pakistan yeah. for tourists. So the northern area is really important to, to visit. Absolutely. And you know, there is uh, also, you know, big number of the Emirati uh, go to Europe for uh, climbing uh, the mountains. Yeah. So I think uh, come to, to climb K2, for example, exactly. the is, is a good example. And also for shopping, uh, you know, uh, in Karachi, there is huge markets, textile, the, uh, you know, the food. Uh, in Lahore, there is a mar huge markets, even in Islamabad. Yeah. So I think there is a big potential in Pakistan with the Prime Minister vision, I think we should also work together with the with the Pakistani side mm. to encourage our people to come to Pakistan. Yeah. Yeah. And do like Emiratis know much about Pakistan actually? You know, the media is really important, mm. and I think uh, in our role and Pakistan uh, also role to to do marketing for this. Mm. So I think we always use the social media accounts. Mm. I mean the UAE embassy yeah. social media accounts in Instagram or Twitter or in Facebook to send uh, you know the the potential of Pakistan for either the investment or either to to visit and see. The, the Pakistan overall. Yeah. So I think uh, through the media we are doing this mm -hmm. and we are working closely with the information ministry okay. to put, let's say, a plan for this. Yeah. And also through the airlines, Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airlines, the Air Arabia, Fly Dubai, we can also send, like, do like the videos in the plane, uh, mm. put a brochure about Pakistan. Yeah. So I, I think there are so many ways we can work with the Pakistani side about it. Okay, so we have introduced a new segment in the show, the rapid fire round. Okay, sure. are you ready? Ready. Okay, okay. let's go. go. Lahore or Karachi? Lahore. Okay. Mountains or beach? Beach. Um, shalwar kameez or kandora? Kandora. <laughs> Chicken biryani or pulao? Chicken biryani. Mall or bazaar? Bazaar. You hesitated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Bad Shahi Mosque or Sheikh Zayed Mosque? Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Mangoes or dates? Both. Both. <laughs> They are quite different. <laughs> okay. Um, Arabic coffee or chai? Arabic coffee. The best thing about Pakistan? Everything. That's it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very You're much. You're a very patriotic person, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've reached the end of the program, and this is where I always ask my guests to sign our visitors' book. Sure. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for having me on the show and wish you always the best. Looking forward to host you again at UAE House, UAE Park Zindabad. Great. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure and thank you for preparing me this wonderful meal. So thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. That's it for today. Please join me again next week. Goodbye.